Hello and welcome to my second tutorial on Cardano blockchain and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install and run a Cardano wallet uh, command line application and try to um, experiment with some of its capabilities so let's get started uh, let's go to the developers website of Cardano at developers.cardano.org and then just click on the get started uh, go to Cardano components and check first the installing Cardano wallet for you to have an overview, quick overview of what the um, Cardano wallet can do. So basically it has two components, a uh, command line interface and a web API. This is what we will be using mostly in my next uh, tutorials when we start developing our custom applications like when we want to create a web wallet uh, send transaction, get transaction details, and check balances, and much more. So um, there's a link here to the Windows uh, version, but um, I think it's erroneous because it's leading to the uh, Mac OS version. So let's close that and go to Overview instead and click Cardano Wallet from here. So it'll bring you to uh, the GitHub of uh, IOHK and let's check the latest version at the time this video was created it's version 2021-12-15 so it was released last December 15 2021 so let's scroll down and then go to the uh, release page and let's find the needed uh, binary file that we need we rec we need on our server so there is a windows uh, zip file here so just click on it, download it, and extract it on any folder that you want. All right. So what I did is I created a wallet folder inside the Cardano node folder, uh, as shown in my previous uh, tutorial. Then I extracted all the files here. And basically, there's a Cardano wallet command line application and the Cardano address. The CLI and the node, we won't be using this because we already have it installed which is a later version. This is an older version, actually. So we'll be using mostly Cardano Wallet. Now, before we get started, uh, let's create first a folder for our wallet files. So let's call it wallets. All right. Now, some of the commands in available in Cardano Wallet, before you can use them, you have to run, a, uh, run first the... Uh, server version of Cardano Wallet. So let's try, let's uh, explore what the uh, available uh, commands for the Cardano Wallet. So let's go to our folder, Cardano Wallet, and let's execute Cardano Wallet application and see what are the available commands. So there's a serve command and then wallet, address, transaction, etc. So before we can use the wallet command to create a wallet, uh, we need to run the uh, API first. So let's check what are the available parameters for the serve command. So as you can see, we need uh, a listening address or the IP address. In our case, we'll be using the local host. And the port number, the default is 8090. Node socket. Uh, this is the same as the one we assigned in our uh, previous uh, tutorial when we ran the uh, uh, Cardano node. So, and then mainnet, since we're using mainnet, not testnet. Um, the database, uh, this is the uh, folder that we just created where we, where we will store all the wallets. So right now it's empty. So, and that's it. So, so again, the best way to run the uh, Cardano wallet with serve command and those available parameters is by using a batch file. So I created a run-wallet batch file with all the required parameters. So first is the listen address, that's the local host, port number 8090, the default one, and then the node socket uh, just type in backslash backslash dot backslash pipe that backslash uh, 
uh, Cardano. This is the same as the one I used in our tutorial, in our previous tutorial on running Cardano node. And tell we are telling the Cardano wallet to run on mainnet. And then the database folder, which is wallets, uh, this is the one we created a while ago. All right? So that's it. Uh, just save it as a batch file. And choose all files. And then the extension is BAT. All right? So that's saved. Now let's go to our command prompt. And then let's um, <coughs> let's run our patch file, run wallet, which is our web API. All right, so it's listening now on our local host with port number 8090. Now it's trying to sync. So basically, the server is up and running. Now we can actually m uh, explore further our um, Cardano wallet. So as an example, let's try to create a wallet this time. So let's check the parameters of wallet. Uh, there's a list create. So we will create a wallet for now. And then the next available parameter is from recovery phrase so since so it requires a wallet name and other optional parameters which is a port number so uh, since we're creating from a recovery phrase and we don't have one yet uh, let's check the other command available for wallet so there's a recovery phrase command here. So let's try that. And the uh, next available command is to generate. So we let's generate a recovery phrase to be used by the uh, wallet command. All right, so it's created. It has created for us a, uh, I think this is a 15 word recovery phrase. So let's copy that and save it on notepad for future use. Now uh, we go we're going back to the wallet creation from recovery phrase and then it says we need to enter a wallet name. So let's use a temporary wallet name. Let's call it my first wallet. Now it's asking for the recovery phrase so let's just paste the one we copied a while ago and a second word factor you can ignore it now a passphrase for accessing our wallet it can be any password that you want so any this it should be minimum of 10 characters so let's just try one two three four five six seven eight nine zero uh, confirm all right that's it. I think we have just created our first wallet with wallet ID. Let's save this wallet ID in our notepad for future use. And all the other information here. Uh, uh, this blue balance is zero. Delegation, we're not delegating anything. All right, so let's check on the uh, folder that we just created. There, there's an existing wallet file already here. So I think we have successfully created a new wallet. And, and this is a live wallet since we're running on mainnet. Now, how do we receive a token to this wallet? We need to check the addresses, the receiving addresses. So remember, there's a command. Uh, available for addresses address so here we can create a new address a random address or we can list all known addresses of a given wallet so let's just list the uh, known addresses since we have already created a wallet so it requires a port number again and which is optional uh, the state 
used or unused. So since it's a new wallet, definitely all our addresses are unused there. And then the wallet ID. All right. So let's list all our addresses and use the state parameter. And let's type in unused since we know we haven't used any of the addresses there. And then let's copy the um, wallet ID. There. Basically, uh, we have a bunch of uh, default wallet addresses available immediately. So this is one. Let's copy that. All right. So basically, this is a live wallet address on the mainnet. So if we receive a token, it will be stored in our wallet file. We can, uh, if you want to send the token from this wallet, basically, we can just use the uh, other command available, which is the transaction command. But we are not going to uh, discuss that in this tutorial. So I just, this is just a basic uh, uh, tutorial on how to run in and um, experiment with the Cardano wallet command line application. So maybe we will tackle all this in our uh, succeeding tutorials, a more advanced topic. So uh, you may be wondering what happened to our uh, web wallet I mean, our web API that is being uh, served by uh, Cardano Wallet. So it's still sinking at 15%. Now, if you want to uh, develop your custom application and want to access the, these commands available for the Cardano Wallet, actually you can do so already with our current setup. So what you can do is now, if you look at the uh, the output of the uh, web API uh, server, uh, we actually requested for the uh, uh, list of addresses, correct? Here, so let's, uh, this is the command that we need to invoke on our web API. So we, we can, it's posted as get command. So let's try that. Let's copy that command and then uh, open our web browser. Let's uh, access the 127 localhost 8090 and then the command to get the wallet addresses. It's wallets, wallet ID and then addresses. So just type, let's press enter. Now it returns a JSON file. So just open it and there we go. We just had, uh, we just extracted all the available unused wallet addresses, which is, the, this is the one shown in our previous example. So that's it guys for this uh, tutorial. Uh, I've just shown you how to uh, install and run Cardano Wallet command line application. And we were, a managed to we were able to run a uh, web API server so we, our custom application can reference. Uh, we just created a wallet and displayed all the available addresses on in that wallet. So in our next tutorial, I'll be tackling our more advanced uh, topics. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.